Well, I'm getting ready to install the attic stairs, the pull-down attic stairs in the workshop here. And one of my subscribers asked me if I would do a little demonstration when I install these because they want to do some at their place. So, what I've got here, these are the Louisville stairs. This is a really nice unit. It's heavy duty, got nice wide treads. It's grooved like that, give you a little bit of traction. This is a nice unit. It's got a 300 pound rate capacity and it's good and sturdy. This is much better than the aluminum ones that I've put in in the past. So the first thing, when I was going to put some stairs in here, I needed to know the rough opening. So I looked at what the lumber yard had in stock. I chose one that suits my needs. My ceiling height in here is about 7 foot 7 inches or something like that. And the stairs are made for all different ceiling heights and weight capacity. So I found one that will work for me. Right on the box it says the rough opening size is 25 and a half by 54. And that's what I made. The maximum ceiling height is 8 foot 9 inches which is more than we need. So I'll end up having to cut a little bit off of the the bottom of the stairs when they fall down. But we'll get to that after. For the first step, I nail the straps to the frame with the roofing nails provided in the kit. So two straps here, just in from the corner on the spring end, and then one on each side down there. I just came in, you know, 12, 14 inches or something on the end. Uh, nothing real specific there. Then I placed a ladder in the attic, paying attention to the direction that I want the stairs to enter the room. I screwed two cleats across the opening for the ladder to rest on. Okay, now I got these cleats here screwed in. I'm gonna climb upstairs. I'm going to drop this into the hole. These cleats here are going to hold it up at the right level that I want it, which is flush with the bottom of the ceiling here. I'm going to bend these straps over and I'm going to nail them to the top of the ceiling joist up here. I centered the ladder in the opening and nailed down the straps. I couldn't film the process as I was securing those straps, but there's really nothing to see. I just bent them over and nailed them to the top of the floor joist there. Alrighty. Open the stairs, but don't unfold them. Then measure okay, right corner to corner to check for squareness. Square. I've got 56 and a half going this way, 56 and an eighth going this way. So, I need to make this corner go that way a little bit and shift it over. So I'm going to put in a shift. I think I can do it myself from here. I've got one going one way and the other going the other way. Right now I got 56 and a quarter. And 56 and a quarter. The directions show that once you square it up, you nail it with those 16 penny nails they gave you. What I'm going to do, I've squared it up. I've got that shim there. I'm going to drill a hole through this casing and put a drywall screw in through there right through the shim and mount it there. And then I'm going to put a few shims here and there just to secure this in the hole. And I'm going to put the drywall screws in. And I'm going to come down and I'm going to try this and make sure everything is exactly how I want it before I nail it in with those 16 penny nails that they provided. I like to use the screws, that way if I have to make an adjustment, it's an easy in and out. All right, that's what I'm gonna do. OK, 
Okay, that's where I have it right now. Okay, I've got it shimmed in there, secured there, over there, and there. And now we have to, have to make some adjustments. I can just back those screws out. Okay. I'm going to install this little pull cord that they give. I got a pre drilled hole here. And we'll see how it works. See the reveal here is running nice and parallel. If it was out of square, that would be kicked over. It's running pretty decent. It looks good. Alright, so it's fastened in. It's square. The reveal is good. Now I'm going to pull it down, unfold the stairs, and cut those stringers to length. You want the staircase to be perfect in a perfect straight line right now. So that means that this is too long. The easiest way that I have found to do this is just take a piece of wood, nice straight piece of wood. I know that this scrap of OSB board is straight in this direction. It doesn't matter if it's crooked side to side. I'm going to put this up. I'm going to go right tight to these pieces of wood. And then I'm going to slide it down to the floor. Just take a piece of wood. Lay it flat on the floor. That's the angle that the stairs need to be when it hits the floor. I'm going to go ahead and cut that angle. Okay, I cut the angle before I cut the length. I'm going to put this back up here. Slide it down until it hits the floor. Now, I'm going to go in behind here. And I'm going to scribe this line here. So I'm going to go and cut this off now. And then this is a pattern for me. All I have to do now is line this up, the length, with the butt end of that, mark the angle, and that will give me the right length for the lower portion of the stairs. So I'm going to go cut that. I've got my pattern. I'm going to have my helper on that end hold it flush with the bottom and flush with the end and I'm going to mark the angle on that end. I'm the helper. Ah. Use the pattern to mark both sides of the ladder and cut off the excess. <laughs> Everything looks good. Perfect. Now I will add additional shims and secure the staircase with the 16 penny nails provided. Now I'll use a razor knife to cut the shims so they're flush with the ceiling. And that's it. Well there you go folks. Very simple installation as you can see. Very easy for one person to do, just as long as you have a way to get yourself out of the attic. Otherwise, you'll need somebody just to take those cleats down so you can come back down. Yeah. I'll tell you what, these pull-down stairs have served me well, very well over the years. If you've been following me for a while, you see that I do not like any wasted space. So if I have some room up above where I can store stuff, Having convenient access to it makes the most sense. And these pull-down stairs work great for that purpose. This Louisville kit is probably the nicest kit that I've ever used. Very sturdy, nice wide treads. It's really nice. And I've got the link to it down below so you can check the specs on that. Yeah. So, anyway, now that I have a workshop... <laughs> I'm going to get back to making project videos. 
You know, in the past, I built the water purifier and the rocket stove and stuff like that because I had a place to build stuff like that. We moved, started life over, putting the puzzle back together. Now I'm going to have a workshop. Yeah, and I can't wait to get back to building stuff and sharing those videos with you. So I'll be having how-tos and reviews and all the good stuff that I used to share with you in the past. So life is getting back to normal. So if you like that sort of thing, by all means, subscribe and click the bell so you get notified of my future updates. You might learn something useful. And the best part about it is it doesn't cost a cent to subscribe. Win-win. <laughs> so that is it for now, folks. I hope you enjoyed the video. All the best to you, and God bless.